महाराष्ट्र के बाद लाउड स्पीकर तनाजा अब कर्नाटक पहुंच गया है रियासत के हुबली और कलबुर्गी में राम सेना नाम तंजीम ने आज सुबह अजान के वक्त आरती बजाकर सनसनी फैला दी खबर मिलते ही वहां पर पहुंची पुलिस ने रिकॉर्डिंग शुरू कर दी इस मामले में नाराज रियासत के मुस्लिम लीडरान सीएम बसवराज मुंबई से मुलाकात करने पहुंचे इस मौके पर सीएम ने वफद को कानून इंतजाम सही रखने की यकीन दहानी कराई है इस दौरान सुप्रीम कोर्ट की हिदायत पर सभी मजाहब के लोगों से अमल करने की अपील की गई सीएम से मुलाकात के बाद कांग्रेस लीडरान ने कहा कि रियासत में हिंदू भाई मिलजुल कर रहना चाहते हैं लेकिन कुछ लोगों को रियासत के आपसी भाईचारा और अमन पसंद नहीं है वहीं पूरे मामले पर राम सेना ने हुकूमत पर लाउड स्पीकर पर कार्रवाई नहीं करने का इल्जाम लगाया आज कानून प्रकार शांति सुव्यवस्थे का सरकार जवाबदारी और कानून सुव्यवस्थे का See, there is a Supreme Court judgment on this issue that has to be implemented by any government. <coughs> that has to be implemented by any government. We have uh, uh, discussed with the Chief Minister, and we have asked him to implement the Supreme Court order for all the religious institutions, irrespective of this religion and that religion. So, the kind of the state Mutalik is making here. See, the fringe, see, there are fringe elements. There are fringe elements. We are not bothered about them. Supreme Court judgment is there, and that has to be implemented by the government. Not by fringe elements. Law and order has to be maintained by the government, uh, and the chief minister has agreed to it, and he has said that we are uh, we are taking action against. Sir. No, we never took the regarding the subject regarding that. See, people of Karnataka wants peaceful society, and it is the responsibility of the state government to maintain the peaceful society in the state and law and order. And in every section of society, few fringe elements try for hatred society, having all these type of issues. So, see, the state government should take strict action against those people. That was our request, and CM has told government won't tolerate any of these anti-social elements. We'll take strict action. That is the deal. Is Muslim community worried about these issues? Sir? See, Muslim communities, we are not worried about these issues. We want peaceful society, and we are uh, not only our community. In Karnataka, every community, including Hindu, Muslim, Christians, they all will live together. And whatever considering the sound pollution, whatever the state government take decision, I court order, Supreme Court order, everyone will abide by that. It's the duty of the state government to make a policy regarding this. And as far as we know, there's no any pollution there. See, on December, may governor mission is there. Decibel. Decibel, we have got an equipment. I think the state government can put that equipment in all the uh, institutions. It is not new trend or anything. It is their old thing. They are just trying to polarize this, and some group is trying to do this. There is already a Supreme Court order which talks about the voice pollution, decibel of the voice, how much it has to be, and all the mosques have agreed to follow that. And this is not only applicable to mosque; it is apl applicable to uh, temple and uh, church. Now, if this is un against sound pollution, what they are doing is also sound pollution. So this will become another issue. You met the chief minister. What was your? No, opinion? no, no. We have uh, met the chief minister, telling him to. He has also agreed that he will maintain the law and order, and the Supreme Court order has to be followed by everyone. So that is applicable to all. There is no other issue.